Hi, it's Kim. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about cleaning the leaves of a fiddle leaf fig. And I have them on stair with really large leaves that get dusty during the year. I want to show you the product that I use to shine the leaves and to clean them to keep them healthy. It's a, a very weak dilution of neem oil and it'll protect them from spider mites, fungus, um, different other insects. It just kind of stays on as a residue but makes them look good too. Okay, I'm going to use this fungicide. It's an insecticide and a miticide also and its proportion is not quite 1% of neem oil. So that's what I'm going to use to protect and to clean the fiddle leaf fig. So it's in a spray canister and you're supposed to shake it up real well before you use it. Now, and I am going to clean with one of these microfiber cloths so it'll grab everything. And I'm putting on gloves just to protect my hands. They look terrible enough without just grinding the neem oil into them. So, I'm all ready, and I do have a mask on. I have a mask. Not exactly something you want to sit and breathe in. This isn't perfect, but we're going to try with it. Okay. Now, I'm just going to pull the leaf down, get the underside and the top, and then just rub with this microfiber cloth to clean all that dust and free up all the breathing capabilities of this plant. That way its leaves are all cleaned. The dust residue won't be on there. Plus, it'll have a little bit of protection. Now, this has not been outside, but since we have brought a few plants inside, I don't want any of the indoor plants to be infected by something we've brought in from outside. So, I'm just going to, one by one, go through all my plants. And clean them. Now this fiddle leaf is very, very tall. So I'm gonna have to get have the help I'm of gonna a have to have stool. the help of a stool to get all of the plant surfaces and wipe them down thoroughly. Okay, now we won't go through every leaf on film because that would last forever. But let me just finish out these few. I really don't see any residue on the cloth, but we know it's getting them very, very clean. Okay. Now when you water it or mist it, you do get a little bit of your tap water on the leaf and that does sometimes cause little white droplets or hazy marks just from the calcium in the water it kind of calcifies on the leaves and makes those little white streaks so you can clean those off too with this kind of a mixture and protect your leaf But I think overall, let me kind of give it a swivel. It's on wheels. You can see what I was talking about right here. You can see a little bit of the calcification in the droplets. And that will rub off. And it'll look so much nicer without that. But let me continue on so that we can get to the rest of this leaf and get them all clean.
here looks like the final leaf so far that's come out. And it's growing real well. It doesn't have any of those little red edema flecks on it where it grows too quickly as it comes out. Or either those have healed all over. Now this side looks like it's trying to lean toward the light. So I'm going to have to make sure I swivel when I put this one back over. But I think that looks really good. That's got everything mostly. We'll get this one. These leaves feel very, very tough. They feel almost like, I don't know, they're made out of a piece of vinyl. Very, very tough feeling. And real sharply ribbed in the back. They might make a good hypertufa leaf. But I think that looks good. I don't see any problem areas on the leaf. It looks like we've got some branching going out this side. We might could cut and make a whole new plant. But the top is really ending right there, just in a growing tip. So that's perfect. But we're just about to reach the top of my windows. We've got just a little less than one window segment left, and it'll be at the top. So, don't ask me where we're going to put it. We have to find some place on the ground under a light. Or I should say, on the floor under a light. But I think that looks really good. So, he looks a lot shinier and brighter now that I'm done. I don't think I missed any leaves. Let me swivel him around. Let's see. It looks like it's been turned this way because all the leaves are facing that direction. So, it's time to give him a swivel. and set it that direction. You see we've got it on a little cart with wheels underneath it so that we can swivel it around to face the light. And I think that'll do it for my fiddle leaf. I didn't see any problems. Let's just give it a little bit of a now I'll just continue around spraying the upper side and the lower side of the leaves, getting them all clean. It takes a while to get that done, but it's so worth it in the end because you'll love the way the plants look after that's all finished. And they'll be healthier for the time you take. Now that fiddle leaf looks wonderful to meet the fall times here in the house. I think that looks good. I can sure notice a lot less dustiness on the leaves. And they seem to be liking this. Now I only do this like two, maybe three times a year. Not very often at all. We have a little tiny leaf there. Oh, that's the bottom of the new sprout coming off. So his leaves are a little bit tinier. But I think he looks real good. So, all the leaves are kind of, these are turned upward. And some of those are turned upward. So I'm going to let those kind of face the light for a while. And then we'll see where that goes. 
but I think the fiddle leaf is now good for another few months. But I hope you've enjoyed this, how I clean the fiddle leaf fig and all these large leafed plants that need a little wipe down every so often to keep them clean. Any of your large leafed plants like this Monstera Deliciosa, you can clean its leaves too. They get dusty, but they like a bit of cleaning also. I almost got a lot of nice splits. And we got a lot of new growth, but I'll need to clean them too. That's what you can use. Plus it also protects your plant. Well, thanks for watching today. I appreciate you stopping by to see a video and be sure to watch a few more. See you next time.